I could like get rid of all of my other lip products and just have these and I think I would be okay, honestly. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah, if you are new here. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. I'm so excited for today's video because I'm going to be trying even more K-Beauty products, but this time it's all lip products. So I have these five lip products here that I'm going to try today, and I've had these for like a week now, and it's been so hard not to try them out and put them on, but I waited for this video and I'm just so excited. But before we dive into it, I would just like to thank the sponsor of today's video, HelloFresh. Get mouthwatering seasonal recipes and fresh pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door with HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh makes cooking at home fun, easy, and affordable. HelloFresh offers so many recipes to choose from each week to help you break out of your recipe rut. They cut out stressful meal planning and prepping so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in just about 30 minutes, or even 20 minutes with their quick and easy options. Their pre-portioned ingredients means that there's less prep for you and less wasted food. You can also easily change your delivery days or food preferences and skip a week whenever you need to. So tonight I made the cheesy smothered mushroom chicken and it looks so good i'm so excited to eat this it was so fast and so easy and it was nice trying a recipe i've never tried before so i'm gonna taste test this and it was nice because i didn't have to go grocery shopping so this is really good i'm a big mushroom person so i love the mushrooms all over everything in this 10 out of 10. i got the four person hellofresh kit so my family is going to enjoy this with me and i think they're really gonna like it mm with the scallions, that's so good. Also, HelloFresh donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and is continuing to step up their food donations amid the coronavirus crisis. I personally have loved my HelloFresh meals so much. It's been super helpful. It tells you what tools you need. You can just pull out all your ingredients and you are good to go in about 30 minutes. It seriously is so amazing. So to try out HelloFresh yourself, make sure to go to hellofresh.com and use my code SINCERELYSARAH14 for 14 free meals and free shipping. Thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into it. Okay, it's time to try some lip products. So I have them all pulled up on my laptop. So I'm going to read through the five that I purchased. I asked you for your favorites if you had any K-Beauty lip products that you absolutely loved. So I did pick up a few from kind of like recommendations that I got. So we have the 3CE Plumping Lips in Rosy, which is this one right here. I tried to do a mix of like colors that were a little bit out of my comfort zone and shades that I really like and wear all the time. So I tried to get a good mix of like reds and peachy ones and there's like a more purpley grape shade in here. So I tried to get a good mix. Um, next we have another Roman product because I loved my Roman Glasting Water Tint so much that I had to get another Roman lip product. So that would be the Juicy Lash lasting tint and this is in the shade fig fig then we have the apu i think is how you pronounce it juicy pang mousse tint in the shade guava which is this one right here then we have the holika holika heart crush glow tint air in the shade bay and that's this one right here and then last but not least another roman lip product um and it's the juicy lasting tint bear juicy series in the shade bear grape so those are the five that I picked up, so now I'm just going to try them on. So we're gonna start from the top. So we're gonna start with the 3CE Plumping Lips in the shade Rosy. Um, one of you guys suggested that I try this. So this is the shade Rosy, and I believe it's like, well, this looks kind of peachy, but I think it's more of like a rosy color. Honestly, it's like a lip balm kind of tube. I wanna look at like, the reviews and the descriptions again, but also I kind of want to be surprised at the same time. Maybe I'll put it on and then read like about it after. So I'm gonna try this product. Oh my God, I already love this. You don't think this little tube is gonna be a plumping product because it's like, I don't know, it just looks like a little tinted chapstick, but it's actually, my lips are tingling. I can feel it tingling my lips a little bit. So I'm gonna wait like a minute and see if there's a difference. Okay, it's been like a minute or two, but I it doesn't give like a super big plumping effect, which honestly, that's not my favorite type of product anyway. I don't usually go for like lip plumpers, but it does give a little bit of like a tingle, I guess. So yeah, I am so shocked by this. I wasn't expecting it to look like a gloss and to be so like 
pigmented. You could obviously just kind of like dot it on and have it be more natural, but I did like two swipes. So yeah, it just says on the website that it's for a plumping, glow, glossy kind of look, and it definitely looks like that. I just wasn't expecting it from like the tube that it comes in. It kind of just looks like, I don't know, it just doesn't look like it would be glossy like this. I'm, I really like this. So, so far so good. Okay, so next up we have the Roman Juicy <laughs> Lasting Water Tint in the shade Fig Fig. I'm super excited to try another Roman product. Okay, so it looks really similar to the Glasting Water Tint in Vintage Ocean that I have, but it's a little bit smaller. So I wonder how this is different. That's a water tint and this is a lasting tint. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. Oh my God, this one smells so good. The other one doesn't smell like this. So the other one I just put on like swipe it on my lips and then I use my finger to blend it out. Oh my god, I love this. That's so pretty. I might like this one more. I have to say the glasting water tint that I have is like kind of blends out a little more sheer. This one's like more of a stain stain and the color is more like noticeable with just one swipe. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. This for the summer just like for a pop of red, but a red that's still soft. It's so pretty. I wonder how long this stays for though, because the Roman Glasting Water Tint, I'd say it kind of stays on my lips for like an hour, I guess, the color. I mean, it fades a little bit, but it usually lasts me around an hour, but this one seems like more of a true stain. I have a feeling I'm gonna like all of these. <laughs> just, just a feeling. So let's look at the website. It has amazing reviews, as it should. So it says, instead of fading into a light pink like other lip products, Juicy Lasting Tint keeps its distinctive original color. So apparently this is supposed to last. I will give you guys kind of an update on that in the comments down below. I'll put a little pin to like, the lasting power of this because I want to know. So yeah, it's just like a stain and it's supposed to last on your lips for a really long time. Just have a really beautiful tint to the lips and it definitely looks like that. I am a fan. I have really dry lips by the way and the first two products so far do not show like cracks or anything really. So yeah, and I just love how it's like faded kind of. It's like you can see the color but it's like soft and like faded. I, I just love it so much and I don't have any other lip products like this um, in my makeup collection so I'm so happy with this. So far the first two are like exceeding my expectations. So it did kind of remove pretty easily but my lips are still stained slightly so I'm gonna go kind of put some concealer over top just so the next three products we try kind of don't have this red stain underneath. So next up we have the Apu Juicy Paying Mousse Tint in the shade Guava. So this is a mousse tint so I guess it is going to be a tint like the last one, but it's more of a moussey texture. But it looks like a bright kind of burgundy color, which is really pretty. I'm interested about this moussey texture. Yeah, it kind of looks moussey on the applicator. Oh, I can already smell this one. It smells really nice. The last one kind of had like a grapey fruity smell and this one does as well. It's just like a sweet kind of smell, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna put this one on. Mm, this one's a lot brighter. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna just blend it out with my finger. Okay, wow, that's actually a pretty bright red. But again, with products like this, I would expect them to really cling to like the dryness on my lips, but it just looks so smooth and blurred and it just looks so nice. Mm, oh my God, this is so comfortable. The texture on my lips kind of reminds me of like the Rare Beauty Matte Lip Souffles. It's a lot brighter than I thought, like the shade of it, but it's so, so beautiful. I feel like this is one of those shades where I could wear it in the summer, like with a really summery outfit, just like a really pretty red, like a vibrant red, but also it would look really nice in the fall and winter time. I am obsessed. Like, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm trying to give my thoughts, but it's like, my thoughts are just that I love it. Okay, let's look on the website again. So this comes in eight colors and it says, this lightweight lip tint offers a vibrant shade to your pouts. It's moisturizing formula, applies smoothly, and has a non-sticky and smudge-proof finish, which that's the key thing there because usually products like these, it's not moisturizing and it's like, kind of uncomfortable to wear, like that moussey. It just makes your lips kind of look crusty, you know? But this doesn't do that at all. It's so smooth and just kind of blurs your lips. It's amazing. See how this comes off? 
Okay, so this one's kind of like staining a little bit more than the last. It's okay, nothing a little concealer can't fix. So next we have the Holika Holika Heart Crush Glow Tint Air in the shade Bay. Oh, this packaging is adorable. That's so cute. So this one's more of like a peachy color and this is supposed to be a tint as well. Oh my God, are they all tints? Okay, so they're all tints except for the first one. Got it. So I'm just going to put this one on. It smells good as well. I can't tell what the smell is though. It's just like a sweet fruity smell. This is very different. I don't think I have anything like this. It just glides on kind of like a lip gloss, but it's not a lip gloss. It's like thicker and it's again, looks beautiful, not on the cracks of my lips. I don't know if you saw, but I had that kind of like crack in the middle of my lip and it just looks smooth. It looks beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it. Let's click on the website because I really do not know how to describe this. So this says highly pigmented lip tint in captivating shades deliver a glossy but non-sticky finish designed with the moist holding system. This lip tint ensures lips stay moisturized all day long. So it is supposed to be like a gloss, like a lip gloss, but it just has like a lip quality to it almost like it feels like I don't know you like you're putting on I guess like a liquid lipstick but it's like a hydrating very moisturizing liquid lipstick I really like this a lot and the shade is pretty bright it's like a bright peachy pink kind of color and I really like it it's really different for me I think it's a very like springy summery color okay so that one removed quite easily it's still a little red but it's okay so the last one I have is the Roman juicy lasting tint bear juicy series in the shade bear grape and I think this one's more on the cool tone side. The past four were like different shades, but they were very warm tone. So I'm pretty sure this is like a cooler tone. I'm gonna compare the component, I think it's called. Ignore my red stained fingers, but we have the glasting water tint, the juicy lasting tint, and then this is the juicy lasting tint bare juicy series. So this is the one I'm trying out right now. Smells like grape. And this is a grape, it's called a uh, bear grape. So I'm just gonna put it on. Mm, this is kind of like a your lips, but better shade on me. This honestly feels a lot like the last one I just put on, like a liquid lipstick, but it's like a lip gloss, you know? Okay, so yeah, that's more of like a cool toned mauve pink color. I'm obsessed with this. I literally loved all of these so much. I don't think I can pick a favorite. I really don't think I can. It just feels very comfortable and very glossy on the lips. I do not even know how to describe these formulas. They're like lipstick stains, but hydrating and just perfect. They're like my dream lip products, honestly. Okay, so let's go ahead and read about it so it's highly pigmented color stays on all day to give lips a juicy shine so again it's pigmented but it's hydrating you know it's like one of those types of products so in a lot of the photos it looks more natural so i think you can kind of just dot a little bit on the center of your lips and blend it out i kind of did like a full swiping thing but you could totally i think for all of these just achieve a very like an even more natural look than what i did i kind of knew that k-beauty lip products would be up my alley because a lot of just K-beauty makeup in general, I really like. I love that just simple but polished look. I think it's so beautiful and I really enjoy that kind of makeup. So I kind of had a feeling I'd like these lip products, but seriously, they all blew me away. I am so obsessed with them. This one, the Holika Holika one, it won cutest packaging because it's a heart that's adorable. The Roman ones, I love Roman lip products so much. I think this one just looked stunning, blended out. That red color was just like, a wearable gorgeous everyday red this juicy lasting tint that's on my lips right now i think is just perfect and beautiful this one was like a very vibrant red i think it's gorgeous the fact that it's a comfortable mousse is just perfection and then this one this lip balm that surprised me and actually looked like a gloss <laughs> I seriously can't think of one negative thing to say. I mean, it took kind of a long time to ship to me, but like, I that's okay. It's so, like, it's nothing about the product. People do want to hear the pros and cons, but I really can't think of any cons. Like, even I'm not a huge fan of lip plumper products, and this one, like, I could have, I guess that could have been a negative thing, was like, it kind of has a tingly effect, but it was so soft, like, the tingle really wasn't that bad that I can't, I can't complain about it. Like, it wasn't uncomfortable, you know? So, a little up update on the 3CE Plumping Lips in Rosy. The smell is just not my favorite. It kind of has like a, it's not minty, but it's like, it's just not 
a nice smell in my opinion it's kind of overwhelming so that is one negative about this the first time I applied it I didn't it didn't really bother me but the more I test this out and the more I wear it the smell does bother me a little bit it's just like a really strong like chemically smell kind of and it's not my favorite so I guess that is a negative about this so yeah you guys that was me trying k-beauty lip products if you have any more that you want me to try please let me know I think I have a pretty good collection going so far with the ones that I have now, but if there are any out there that you think I absolutely need to try, please let me know because I could like get rid of all of my other lip products and just have these and I think I would be okay, honestly. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these and if you like them down below. I am curious to hear your thoughts. Also a huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.